Hey you guys So Today I am going to do A tap through At a grocery store In Egypt To show you guys Some different products That you'll find in Egypt Tell you about them Etc So I'm starting off in a dessert aisle with kind of boxes of things you can make. This is called Um Ali. Um, it's a famous dessert here in Egypt. There are several kinds of these like kind of dough fried with like a honey or sugar glaze on it. This particular one is called Salabia. It's delicious, especially with chocolate actually. Basbusa is also a very famous dessert in Egypt. And these are just some basic cakes as well. This is a coconut cake. one of the brands in that aisle. There's so many different brands that you can purchase. Goes on and on. Dip, but here we call just the chickpeas hummus. 
kidney beans, some peas, some corn. So these are all things we have in the US too. So this is a very famous breakfast uh, food, it's called fool, um, in English it's a fava bean and you can see that there are lots and lots of different flavours that you can purchase in the store. Um, that says Iskandreya type of fool, which means Alexandria's type of fool. Um, it's these beans, the fava beans, that you mix with other ingredients, often like a tahini sauce, some lemon, salt, cumin, um, and it's like a dip that you dip the bread into. It's eaten in every home in Egypt all the time. So although we have fava beans in the US, we don't use them all that often, nor do we make this particular dish with them. Lots and lots of different fava beans. Right now in Egypt, which is where I live, it's the month of Ramadan. And that is where the month's Islamic calendar. And it's the month where Muslims around the world fast for 30 days. And what that means, to clarify, is they fast when the sun is up and they're able to eat. sunsets so you can pick me up with your family and you can eat throughout the night anytime uh, until the sun rises again so a big part of Ramadan and just culturally in Egypt are dates. Dates are eaten in several different meals um, or desserts majority of the fruits and vegetables and things um, at like markets in their area that are very close to them, just a local smart small market where the price is a bit cheaper um, and you can't find like all this variety but we're in a, a store that's inside of a mall here in Egypt and so it's got a lot of variety some 
hot sauce. There's a lot of different hot sauce options here. Like this is something, you know, you would never find like Tabasco in, in a normal grocery store, like a small grocery store in Egypt. So they have some like specialty items. Not never with Tabasco, but you'd have to be in like a, a grocery store that carries some international items. Ketchup is eaten and found, you know, everywhere in Egypt, so this is Heinz, <laughs> and you can find this brand Heinz all around the world, and certainly here in Egypt. Just doing a little organising, this one doesn't have a sponsor. Let's make way for this one. Seven famous ketchup brand in the US. That is all around the world. We've got mayonnaise here. Um, they can use some different dishes. It's not used in the same way that we use it in the US, though. It's not like spread on a sandwich. Usually, people have sandwiches with like bread, like a flat bread with some cheese. That's but usually that's it. There's not like a, a dressing or a mayo or things like that. But here, like there's a few things that you would find because it's like an international shop. They've got like this pickle sauce, kind of like a relish. It even has the word America on, the, on this brand. So it's kind of a special, um, not special, international. That you would find in the shops. In Egypt, you want to purchase something you know, from a different cultures or a tour. You'll have to be in a larger shop like this. Okay, I said I would tell you more about a product earlier that we call Teremis. It's called Lupi in English. And it's a bean that you soak in water, often with lemon and salt. You soak it for a long time, it's got like a little bit of an outer shell and you kind of pop it out of the shell and it's just delicious, it's really healthy protein, I love it. Just a moment to show you some Nutella. And I can't really tap on this stuff, so I'm just going to show you quickly, quickly organize some of these red chilies. But I'll just show you a bit of the vegetable area. Egypt called mashi, which basically means stuffed, like stuffed vegetables. So we stuff cabbage, we stuff grape leaves, we stuff um, peppers like red, green peppers like with rice, uh, different spices. So that's a very famous dish here that a lot of people eat during the month of Ramadan. Everyone eats it all the time, but it's not a special food thing. Um, and since Ramadan is special for many families here, it's some mint. Mint tea is very uh, famous here in Egypt also. I've never eaten a lot of chicken, but they have some. Okay, this is super Egyptian. It's a whole section of olives and pickled vegetables. So you can get the different like, mixtures of pickles, olives, meals in Okay, this is the sweets section. I thought I'd just kind of show you. I can't really put that too much on the products, obviously. They're behind the glass and they're without containers. But these are different baklavas and different kinds of pastries that you can purchase and bring to friends and family's homes when you visit them to break the fast. Some different cakes and things too. I love this. Um, Daif is it's almost like this little pancake that you stuff with usually um, maybe some raisins and some uh, I can't think of it in English. Goes hind. I'm saying it in Arabic. Coconut. And you like kind of pinch the edges to make it like a. Diamond. 
dumpling and fry it and add some like simple syrup. I like it just with nothing inside, it's kind of like a donut. Bread crumbs are used a lot, different meals here. And then we've got the bakery section with some croissants, different forms of danishes and things like that. Pastry areas here look kind of like French, you know? Some donuts, etc. So, there you have it, you guys. That's just a little sneak peek at a grocery store in Egypt. I hope you enjoyed. If you do, let me know. Maybe I can do more of these and show you more items that are um, specific to Egypt as well. Love you guys. Bye for now.